Atari 2600. Simple, fun, and a console everyone should play. The Atari 2600 was released September of 1977. It was the first popular console that had interchangeable cartridges, meaning you could play hundreds of games on this small system. In today's episode, we'll be talking about the 2600, the games, console models, and more. Please enjoy this week's Throwback Thursday and the great 38 years of the Atari 2600. Atari was founded in 1972 by two game pioneers, Nolan Bushnell and Ted Dabney. They first went into arcades since consoles weren't very popular. The first arcade machine they developed was Pong. The first prototype machine was installed at a tavern in Sunnyvale, California. They didn't expect the game to be super popular, but it was. After a week that it was installed, the machine broke due to an overflow of quarters. Eventually, they released a home version of Pong in 1975. The version sold over 150,000 units. The Atari 2600 was released in September of 1977. It was originally called the Video Computer System. If you look at the original models, it still says Video Computer System above the cartridge port. The 2600 dominated every other console that generation like the Channel F, RCA Studio 2, and so many other consoles. The Atari 2600 ended production in 1992 lasting 15 years. In the long lifespan of the 2600, there were so many versions of the 2600. Some rare, some expensive. Right now, I will talk about all about the models. The first model of the 2600 was released in 1977. It was called the Sunnyvale Edition since it was produced in Sunnyvale, California. It is referenced as the Heavy Sixer since it has six switches on the front of the console. The Heavy Sixer also had more plastic around the sides and back, and also the metal inside is a little heavier than the second model of the Sixer. That brings me to the next model, the 2600. It was pretty much the same, but there were small cosmetic changes, and this 2600 was produced in Hong Kong instead of California. The reason I talked about the second model is because it is more talked about than people think for some reason. The first model is extremely rare and expensive as crap. The price of these on eBay are $100 plus. Okay, off to the next 2600. The 4 Switch 2600 was released in 1980 and the only change is that two switches were moved to the top. In 1982, another model of the 2600 came to stores. Atari took away the wood panel in the front and replaced it with black plastic. It had 4 switches and it looks very cool. It was unsure why this one was released, but it was the first time that the video computer system was nicknamed to the 2600. The next model was released in 1986 and Atari was still trying to push the 2600 for an all new look for the ad campaign. It was called the Junior. The second model of this was completely the same except one thing. The rainbow strip on top was wider. The third model of this was black and it was only released in Ireland. There were so many more clones and models. The CS version of the 2600 which is a little more common. Coleco Gemini. Tactar Video Game. 128 in one system. And many many more. This is a detailed explanation of the 4-switcher Atari 2600. As you see, there was 4 switches on the front and 2 switches up on top. There was also a power input. A good thing but bad thing for the original 2600s is that the power cord is hardwired straight onto the motherboard. If you find an Atari without plugs, you will only need to find the power cord for it. You also see 2 controller ports on the back of the console. You can use the original paddles or Sega Genesis controllers, which I recommend. The sticks on the joysticks are very tight and some games are unplayable. If you turn to the front of the console, you can see a wood grain front with the Atari logo on the right. Also, there are ridges on the console to give it a more solid look. Overall, it's a very good looking console. The durability of the console and the games are really really good. I've never seen a non-working 2600. If you look at the games, you can see at the bottom that there is plastic protecting the pins so they won't get dirty. It only opens when you put the game into the console. Without this plastic covering, most games probably won't work. The graphics for the 2600 games were very primitive due to the console specs. They were really good back in the 70s, but since then, they aged dramatically. There were over 400 games released on the system. It's surprising that there wasn't more games since anyone could pretty much make a game and get it released. Most of the games for the 2600 were not very good at all, but some of them were actually very fun and still fun today. Sequest and River Raid are two of my favorite games on the system, and I can play them for more than 10 minutes. I know it seems like a short amount of time, but for an Atari game, that's huge. The most famously worst game is E.T. on the system. It is notorious to be one of the worst games in video game history. I'm not sure why, but there are worse games on the 2600 and other consoles. 
E.T. is also blamed for the video game crash of 1983. I'm going to play some of the games on the 2600 so you can see how the games are like. All these games are being recorded with an emulator because recording 2600 games are really hard. This is some gameplay of the best 2600 games. Well guys, that was the Atari 2600, a really fun console and a good console to collect for. I suggest looking up the best games for the 2600 so you won't get screwed over buying the crappy games. Also, the games are very cheap, so you find yourself with many, many games. Like, I mean, like, you could find yourself with, like, 50 in, like, a week. Or not a week. It depends how much you shop, but you will find so many games so fast. They're so cheap, and, you know, they're everywhere. With many variations of the 2600, you can find, like, them anywhere for cheap, too. Like, you can find them at flea markets, game stores, everywhere. There's so many models, and most of them are really cheap, so get one if you don't have one. I suggest getting one now before the prices start going up on them. Good luck and enjoy the 2600. Building out. If you like that video, click here to watch more. If you want to subscribe, which we know you do, you gotta click this guy right here. As always, like, like and comment, comment below. below the video, because we finally got it. High five! Yeah!